If you're someone who struggles with holding attention or focus, especially in conversations with women that you are attracted to, then I think this is gonna be a video that will be a game changer for you. So what I'm gonna be talking about is something called Dual and Back. And this is a particular program made by uh, the Brain Workshop, which comes from an original experiment back in, I think it was like 2008, where through certain brain exercises that encourage you to recall moments that have happened just previously ago, it gets you to work on the areas of your brain that specialize in working on like focus and attention. But in particular, it does focus on two particular areas of the brain, which are so important for any conversation that you are having with people. And that is gonna be your short-term memory. So just being able to think about something that someone has just literally said, and for you to be able to respond to that in a conversation, and also fluid intelligence which covers like the creative part of, um, of conversations, uh, allows you to stay focused and have your attention and really actively listen to someone, as well as being able to recall other things that maybe have happened in your life, past experiences and whatnot, that you can then also bring into a conversation. Now, this is something that I try and actively do um, as often as I can, and it is a really, really simple game to play, and it really does doesn't take that long. And if you want to get the best results from this, this is something that you should try and do uh, pretty much on a daily basis. And you can spend like 20, 30 minutes on this. It's, uh, it's not one that you have to spend a long time on. But I'm going to just go give you a, a walkthrough of this, uh, this uh, game for you to actually have a look at. And then I'm going to do a demo of it as well. So if I just click space and then I can go onto the home, you can kind of see, right, I've actually done a round here. And that was just to reset this, to drop the, uh, the level that I was on back down to this level, which we'll call level three. So what exactly is dual and back? Well, before I give you the demo of it, essentially you can see here there's this grid and what happens is that a square will pop up in one of these sort of squares on the grid. And at the same time as that, a letter will be said as well. And the way in how this exercise works is it gets you to try and recall back to what that space was or what that letter was three spaces ago, if that makes sense. So uh, an easy then example would be if I was to then go onto level four, I would have to remember either four spaces back to where a square would appear on the grid or where the letter uh, that has been said would appear on the grid. So it plays then on both your audio and your visual uh, aspects of, um, uh, of this exercise. So it really then gets you to have to actively listen as well as focus looking at where, you know, things are happening. Um, so you can't not be... Um, this is something that you can't be really half fast about. You have to give it your full attention if you want to do it. And you'll find as well, and, I, and I've been doing this for years with it, but I found as well for myself uh, that I've had days where I've been really great at actively listening and, and getting really good uh, results on this. And then I've had days that have been absolutely awful. So it's kind of interesting to see that there is a bit of a roller coaster when playing the game that you can be really good and get to like higher levels, but it doesn't mean that it will always necessarily stay there. So you can kind of also see here just in the bottom, it says thresholds that if you go above 80%, so when you're doing the game and you're remembering where either the square or the letter was said was, um, if you can get them correct and you get over 80%, then you go up a level. If you're between 50 and 80%, it stays exactly where it is. And if you get lower than 50%, and if you fail that three times, so if you get under 50% three times, 
you drop a level as well. So it's really good. You're constantly, you know, actively testing the brain. And if it gets too difficult, it lowers the level difficulty for you. And then as soon as it gets too easy, it automatically brings it back up again. So it's really, really good. So in fact, if I just go onto the graph, I mean, you can see this big dramatic drop, which has just been because of uh, just resetting it. But, you know, the highest that I've got has been sort of about five and a half so in other words i've been able to remember or recall about five spaces back at definitely at my best um but it does get incredibly difficult but what you get from the results from this is just absolutely uh amazing so like uh one of the experiences that i get is uh, a kind of hyper focus so um if so it means then when i'm like, like thinking about jobs and stuff that i want to do uh, my attention and focus is like a hundred percent on it um i'm also someone i think like with most people who have like an inner dialogue you have that inner voice usually with a lot of people it can give a lot of limiting beliefs so you might end up saying things to yourself that can be quite uh knocking uh it quietens that voice. So imagine then literally shushing that limiting belief that you might have. But also, main thing is that conversation-wise with people, my uh, my speaking is just incredibly fluid. And not whilst I'm saying like um, but but certainly when I'm when I've done this exercise, especially a good few days in a row. Um, it is just amazing the kind of com uh, conversations that I'm having, just how quick I am on the ball with certainly giving responses to people or thinking very much on the spot with answers that are to the point, that are correct. Um, it, it is brilliant, mm -hmm. which again is why I certainly recommend to people who do have a lot of anxiety or maybe you do struggle with your conversation skills, this will help you with your sharpness. So I'm going to just give you a, a demo of this um, and then I'll just sort of tell you how I feel afterwards but basically what will happen is once I click spacebar and the game will begin um, I'm going to be then clicking uh, the left mouse and the right mouse on my laptop um, I don't know if actually if the audio is going to be recorded of the letters being uh, announced but there are going to be letters with a female voice that will be said and um, in fact maybe the mic might end up picking it up but we will see uh but yeah ultimately once the uh the audio comes out um then hopefully yeah you'll be able to uh to hear it so uh we'll just give this a go i'm only going to do one round here as well k q r so k q r q t q Q H L H L Q S L R H S C T C Q H R C K L T Q Okay. Okay. So there we go. So I got 70% there. I mean, it's uh, ideally I would have loved to have been able to demo that I uh, passed that and went up a level, but um, this is literally just the first round that I have just done today. And what I would recommend to people to do is about 20 rounds a day. And as you saw, that took what, like, 40 seconds something like that so you can go through them pretty quick and you'll find that as soon as you kind of get nearer that sort of 
10 rounds mark you really really get that hyper focus you feel suddenly your presence just narrows in and hones just on this small part of the screen so it's a really great exercise that i highly recommend that everyone should do uh, i am hoping that at least the audio there with the letters did get sound otherwise um yeah you'll have to just sort of take my word for it but otherwise, why not give it a go yourself? Why not uh, download the uh, the game? Um, I'll, in fact, I'll actually put a link underneath this video so you can give it a try yourself. But it's a really, really simple game. And as for the levels, it just turns into you having to remember another space back. And, um, uh, and, uh, and same with the letter as well. So yeah, I mean, give this a go. I would love to hear your thoughts on how the experience is for you. Um, if you are up for the challenge, I recommend do this for 30 days straight. Uh, so 20 rounds a day for 30 days. And then let me know how this exercise has been for you. And uh, in fact, maybe even rather than waiting 30 days, give me an update uh, as each week goes on. How have you felt uh, in your brain or in your mind as you've been doing this? Have you found your conversations have been more fluid with people? Have you been able to recall things even easier as well? And uh, let me know how that goes. Uh, and if you can like the video, it will 100% help me out with uh, the, uh, the YouTube algorithm and help me to get searched a bit more so I can share more exercises like this with more men and help them with their anxiety and their confidence as well. And uh, if you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date where I will most certainly be giving even more things like this uh, to help you out. But I can assure you this, this for me is like a game changer. Uh, and especially when you start doing this for like months, wow, is all I can say. So give this a go. I'd love to hear your thoughts and, uh, look forward to more videos from me soon.